The Legal Rebels Tour Diary. Brought to you by Westlaw. Better results faster. By Total Attorneys. Rebels Welcome. By Hertz. By Sprint. And by Starwood Preferred Guest. Uh, hey, it's uh, day seven of a Legal Rebels Tour 09. Uh, and we're coming to you from the tour vehicle. We are underway rolling through the Garden State, lovely New Jersey, on our way from New York City down to Washington, D.C., where we will be in the environs for the next three days, four days, for the rest of the tour. Uh, had, a, had a terrific, uh, very different kind of day today. Uh, we met up with David Latt, who is today's legal rebel, uh, and uh, you're going to see the profile up online of David. Uh, instead of just interviewing David, we decided to do something a little different today. Uh, we got David together with a guy named Steve Brill. Steve Brill, the founder of American Lawyer Magazine, the founder of Court TV, uh, the founder of the now defunct Brill's Content, uh, who is now running a company called Journalism Online, which is trying to find a way for uh, newspapers and magazines to make enough money online that they can survive, perhaps even without their print counterparts. Um, so we got them together and David interviewed Steve about the early days of American Lawyer Magazine. Um, and about the way in which legal journalism has developed in the 30 plus years since the magazine was founded. Very interesting interview. Very interesting to see Brill talking again about the state of legal journalism, something he hasn't done in probably a decade. Um, so we're going to have the full interview up online, all 30 minutes of it, for you to check out uh, to see what Brill and Lat talked about in terms of journalism today. Uh, Molly, what did you think the highlight of the Brill Lat interview was? Well, my jaw almost dropped when uh, Brill said that if American Lawyer Magazine was doing its job online, uh, there would be no need for David Latz above the law. Yeah, that was that was pretty categorical. I mean, it was interesting that he thought that they really dropped the ball that much. Yeah, and that was kind of his reaction out of the gate. Molly, what's your song of the day? Uh, I'm going with Elvis Presley's A Little Satisfaction. Um, and specifically the lyric, a little less conversation, a little more action. And Rachel, you weren't at the Brill Lat interview because you were uh, over at Bloomberg TV. What was going on over there? I was in the control room at Bloomberg TV today with our rebel from yesterday, Frank Aquila, who was on the 1 to 2 o'clock time slot talking about mergers and acquisitions and also giving a shout out to the legal rebels. So it was really nice to see Frank on TV doing his thing and also to see our project recognized for, uh, for doing a good job. You'll be able to see that interview in its entirety on LegalRebels.com. Yes, we will be uh, embedding the video later on today so you'll be able to check him out. And what is your song of the day today, Rachel? Um, well, my song of the day is by the Ramones and I chose it because we now have three hours in the car as we make our way down to Washington. I want to be sedated. <laughs> Back to you, Ed. <laughs> so my song of the day pick today, uh, since we're cruising through the Garden State, it's got to be Bruce Springsteen, right? Born to Run is definitely my song of the day. A reminder, you can listen to all of our songs of the day in the widget on the main tour page at LegalRebels.com slash tour. So tomorrow we will be in Washington, D.C., visiting with another new rebel, so be sure to check back then. We're out. <laughs>